Now let's go ahead and talk about our forecast. It was kind of a quiet day yesterday. It was cold, but look at all the activity we have going on here on our satellite and radar across much of the southeast and the mid-Atlantic here. Let's go ahead and break it all down for you. We have high pressure pretty much anchored off the North Carolina, Virginia coastline. That's allowing for some southerly flow to filtering it, and then that's allowing for moisture to build in as well. So our dew points are coming back up a little bit, which actually makes it feel a little bit warmer outside than what it actually is. So although it's still cooler, we're not as dry, so it doesn't feel as cold as what it actually would with that moisture coming in from the Atlantic there. We also have a cold front off to our west. This is the big system here. This is the big rainmaker when you really look at it. You can see all the heavy rain to our southwest along Louisiana, eastern Texas. Boy, those folks down there dealing with some severe weather out of this system. Now, luckily, we won't get that part of the system. We're just looking at some spotty showers that are right now entering western Tennessee and western Kentucky, and that'll build our way as we go overnight tonight. Right now, we're just dealing with all these clouds. Boy, I wish we could have gotten rid of some of these clouds. Maybe we would have been able to warm up a little bit more than what we actually did. A few spotty showers trying to show up on the radar, but we're just too dry near the surface, so they aren't quite getting to the ground. So a pretty quiet night from our Beckley weather camera again. Lots of clouds, and that's really, again, what kept us from warming up. Temperatures right now are in the mid to upper 30s, so definitely another chilly evening for you. Overnight tonight, we drop down into the low to mid 30s. We won't fall into the 20s, although some spots might dabble with the upper 20s tonight. Most spots should stay in the 30s with that cloud cover and that southerly flow there that's going to be building again. Spotty rain and snow showers will be possible tonight, but they will be very spotty. They'll kind of stay spotty throughout the morning hours tomorrow, so they if you're heading to church, breakfast in the morning, you might just have a sprinkle of rain, maybe even a mixing of snow, just kind of show up on your windshield. No problems from the roads, though. You'll be okay with that. We're in the cold, though. We'll be in the 30s as you're waking up in the morning. We're getting into the 40s by the afternoon and evening there, but we should be mainly dry into the afternoon, just dealing with those clouds yet again with that system kind of just draping over our area. So here's what we're looking at here as we go overnight tonight. It's plenty of clouds over the area. We'll stop this right around 7. Maybe you're getting up, getting ready for church. You'll notice the clouds, maybe a few spotty showers, mainly west of I-77 here as that cold front tries to get close to our area. But then again, we'll have plenty of clouds to deal with into the afternoon. We're mainly dry, though. Don't cancel any Sunday outdoor plans. You should be okay with that. We're in the 40s by the afternoon tomorrow. Here's what we're dealing with into the work week. We're talking two shots of cold air Tuesday. We can see some snow showers early Tuesday. Tuesday morning, but here's the big system. Look at this big dip in the jet stream we're talking about here as we get closer and closer to Christmas Eve and Christmas Day. So we know we're going to be cold for that holiday. It's just a matter if we're going to see snow. Snow chances on Tuesday morning. Then as we go into Thursday, here comes that cold front. Lots of rain as we go through Thursday, Christmas Eve, but we could see some snow showers build in on the back side of this front here. And that's what we'll have to really pay attention to as we get closer and closer to Christmas. Timing specifics on that still too far out to kind of tell. We do know we're going to be cold. I've got 21 degrees on the board for Christmas Day. How about that? So again, we've got a few shots of snow showers possible again Tuesday morning, and then a big cool down comes down the way by late week. That's your full 10 day forecast.